God bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I welcome you back to New Angafu Church. The Lord said to me on the 16th, get ready to get wages. He led me to the book of Timothy uh, 5, 18. 1 Timothy 5, 18. And right at the middle of, sorry, it was 5, 5 18 to 19. So right at the middle of that, uh, of those verses the scripture says the laborer is worthy of his wages the laborer is worthy of his wages that's what the word of god says in timothy first timothy 5 the laborer is worthy of his wages and then immediately after that i heard the lord say get ready to get wages and the lord has placed it upon my heart instantly immediately after i heard that it was impressed upon my spirit that he wanted me to release the word um, and that was on the 16th i was a bit hesitant but even today this evening i think at about 5 p.m um it was impressed on my spirit again to come and release the word so there's somebody else or a few people in the body of christ that need to hear this word as assurance and confirmation of what the lord has already given to you um and the lord is telling you now reconfirming to you that you will get some kind of payment uh, something that has been overdue to you is coming to you god has seen some of your hard work your labor in the lord has not been in vain and the lord he, uh, he wants to bring you into an hour of amos 9 13 to 15 blessings blessings like wine pouring off the mountain and the hills this is that prophetic hour for the manifestation of blessings and some kind of uh, grants may come to, to, uh, to some people from some uh, government, from uh, from some organizations, uh, some payment, some kind of um, uh, a late payment that was that was supposed to come from your from your employer. Something that was due to you uh, is coming to you uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord is saying, "Get ready to get wages." Uh, some of you who, like I said, have worked for the Lord uh, in one department or the other or in ministry. Father God is bringing blessings. Showers of blessings are coming upon you even in this hour in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. But the Lord wants you all to know this also. Even when it begins to rain upon you in your finances, the Lord doesn't want you to hold back. Father God doesn't want you to hold back and, and you know say okay now i've received blessings and then for you to forget about the body of christ or forget about those who are in need he doesn't want you to look on yourself only or or, or on your household alone the lord wants you to give the lord wants you to sow the lord wants you to tithe hallelujah this is, this is the word of the lord for some of us in this hour the rewards are coming in Jesus' name. The Lord told me this, that, that he's going to reward us. Hallelujah. Amen. The reward is coming to you, child of God. You, this, this word is not going to be for everybody. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This word is not going to be for everybody. There are some faithful, committed, dedicated children of God that all they care about and all they are passionate about is just to serve the Lord. They're going through what they're going through. They're going through their trials and the ups and downs, but they have not given up and they have not torn. Their strength has been small, but they have kept on loving and serving the Lord. And the Lord is opening that door of blessings, of favor. It is the set time of favor for the chosen one. Go back to my last few videos. You see, I put that up there. I only just release these words as I'm led by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. And also take this word to Father God. If it does not resonate with your spirit and you want more confirmation, take it to the Lord and ask the Lord, is what Apostle Glean saying correct? Is this what you said, Lord? Is this for me in this hour? God bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The wages are coming. The payments are coming. The rewards are coming. The blessings are coming. Some of you whom have suffered for the longest time and been in drought and dryness. It's like you've been in some kind of desert-like situation. Father God is about to cause rivers to flow in that desert in Jesus' mighty name. Father God is about to cause you to abound just to overflow with so much blessings in your finance and in every other area of your life 
there'll be renewal in your health and every other area of your life in jesus mighty name that you will have so much and overflow so much with with the blessings that the blessings will not just stay with you and in you it will go out onto others as well. What he blesses you with, you'll be able to bless onto others. When he blesses you in your finance, you'll be able to bless others. When he blesses you in your health, you'll be able to go out and speak the word of healing and encouragement to somebody that is sick. Hallelujah. Makaribado shakapaya. This is that our chosen one, faithful ones, aligned ones. Remain focused on the Lord. The Lord is with you. He never forgot you. He loves you. Be strengthened in Christ. For his coming is now. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for your word. We ask right now, Lord God, that you will grant every single one of us grace. Grace, Lord, to remain faithful. Grace to remain in service. Grace, Lord, for stewardship, Lord. Grace, Lord, to keep loving you. That you will bring upon us, as you have promised, Lord, the wages, the blessings, and everything else, Lord, that is in accordance with your will, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I pray, Lord God, that for everyone here that has served you from day one up until now, that you will just bless them, Father God, strengthen them in every area of their lives and grant them a supernatural turnaround in this month of June. By your mercies, Abba Father, in Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. I love you all. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus Christ is Lord forevermore. Shalom.